I'm from Austria. When I was 15, my family moved to Beijing, China. I was in Beijing during the Sichuan earthquake in 2008. I just finished my high school exams. I did the IB diploma and I was sitting in a bar with my friends at like 2 p.m. and we're drinking a beer, celebrating that we were done. And we were saying how this was the hardest thing we ever had to do, the IB exams. And suddenly we felt like a light vibration. It wasn't in Beijing, it on the quotation marks only, it's still a thousand kilometers away, but it reached three on the Richter scale. So we felt the vibrations and then my mother called me, my father called me, he was somewhere else, he was closer. And they told me there was an earthquake and we were saying, oh, it couldn't have been that big. And we kept celebrating. And then I heard that um, about 60,000 people died. Just in the same moment that I thought I had dealt with the hardest thing in my life. With a, at the same moment people had to deal with the hardest thing in their life, losing their children, losing their husbands and wives and whatnot. Um, and that was the moment that kind of really hit me and made me realize that there's so much more out there that we don't really realize unless we really try to affiliate with it. There's so much more that should be done in emphasizing disasters and how we should prepare for them because I mean, the perfect example for this that is used all over and over again is Katrina. It's a f the first world country that couldn't really deal with a hurricane that they should have been able to deal with. And it's because we don't know where to put the money. No one wants to put the money to something that might or might not happen, which is the bad part that we don't realize, which is why the education on this subject is so important. And that's why I got interested in the field. But there's so much stuff that people don't even know about and you don't realize until you're actually in this stuff and learning about it in lectures. It's, I don't even know where to start. It's, it's really mind blowing from calculating where a hurricane might go to calculating how much it might cost to move people and, and the whole politics that are involved in it too. We learn about business continuity planning. So the whole, how businesses get affected by just a, a small blackout that just lasts for a few hours. It, it's everything from a small scale to a really large scale. It's given me so much of a broader view on everything from how people live to how people eat to how they handle disasters, which is how it's related to my field, right? There's a lot more planning involved in the first world countries than there is in the third because they just don't have the resources. And I've been there and experienced it firsthand.